everyone, welcome to Nunnies. Um, I'm making this video simply because the last few days um, I've gotten a lot of questions about what I put in the dolls. So I, I don't know what that's about. It's very weird. Um, I've, I've never had so many people ask me, like, all at once, um, <laughs> what, I, what, what goes in the dolls. So I'm assuming that something has happened or something was said somewhere on the internet on one of the reborn groups or whatnot um, about somebody getting something put in their doll that wasn't appropriate or something happening that sparked these questions uh, to start rolling in. Um, I did make a video last year, I believe, maybe even two years ago, of a doll that I got that had purple... Um, cosmetic sand like you would buy from the dollar store like for decor uh, and it was filled with that and I did a video on it because it just it sparked in me like all the stuff that I've taken out of dolls I've taken rice uh, beach sand like literally beach sand from the ocean or from the lake I'm not sure which one but it was very clear it had little shells everything and it, it was beach sand it was from the lake I could tell it was from water it smelled as if it had come from water. It was intensely gross. And um, what else? Let me see. Marbles, um, BBs, uh, rocks for like landscaping. What's the weirdest? Oh, I don't even know. So much stuff. Just gross stuff. So I, anyway, I made a video about it uh, some time ago. And I did show what I use in my own dolls when I when I make them but I don't know what has happened to that video I it was so long ago that I I thought that I posted it on YouTube and then I posted it on my Facebook reborn page um, also but I looked on both and I can't find uh, the second video that I made I can find the first one with the purple uh, that was inside of the doll that I was redoing but um, I can't find the other so I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna show the supplies that I use uh, that go inside of my dolls and there's never any substitutions people my customers that know me that have talked to me people that personally know me I'm very OCD I'm very compulsive and I have to use the same stuff if I cannot get my hands on the right equipment or the right supplies that I need it's a catastrophe and I won't stop until I I get the right stuff because this is just what I prefer and I, I don't ever settle for anything less than what I prefer because if, this is my name on this product this is me and I will not send a doll out in any less quality than I would expect myself I also purchase dolls so um, I have I'm reborn pregnant right now. <laughs> so, you know, I, I expect good quality, and that's what I'm going to give my customers also. So, um, this isn't, you know, just my good supplies that I'm showing. This is what I use. I don't stray. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm fibbing, I'm just lying, because sometimes if I can't find extra ultra plush polyfill I will use regular polyfill in a pinch so there you go so there well there's that I, I stuff the inside of the dowel um, the inside of the limbs after I'm done filling them with the glass beads um, I use polyfill ultra plush I don't use regular polyfill I don't really like the feel of it uh, when it bunches it's hard um, it's not horrible, but I just don't prefer it. I prefer this. So I spend a little bit extra, like 25 cents, 50 cents, who knows, it's really not that much, and I get this kind. So this is the kind that goes in the dolls. So if you're wondering what's inside of your baby as far as filling, it's this. Now I have used the Angel uh, Silk Fiber from um, Bountiful Baby. I don't know if other Reborn stores carry it. I don't know if Dolls by Sandy carries it or whatnot, but um, I got it from Bountiful Baby, and it's it's luscious. It's it's so soft and silky, but sometimes it's a little bit too soft and silky. 
However, um, on my more expensive Reborns, on the high-end Reborns, the ones that are going for like $500 or more, sometimes, yes, uh, by request, I will use the Angel Silk um, if my customer does request uh, the Angel Silk as opposed to the regular Ultra Plush or the Rubber Poly Pellets because sometimes I use the Rubber Poly Pellets. Now, I do put these in the bum of my um, high-end Reborns, my real borns also. So if you're getting a real born from me, not a reborn, a real born or a high end reborn, um, this is what's in the booty. And these are ultra plush poly pellets, not the hard kind. These are soft and squishy. And it gives the butt a little bit of pop and a real squishy, realistic feel. So I use these, turn on the lamp here, and this is what they look like, there you go, and they're squishy, they squish them, I can't really, so I want to pop everywhere, but they're, they're squishy, so this is what is in the booty of your Reborns to give them buns on the high end Reborns and the real born dolls, so those are the more pricey dolls, so um, their bodies are a little bit different than the lower end Reborns, because um, if you put these in the lower end Reborn booties, they, they really don't have the same effect as they have, oh no, that has just a hole in the bottom, that's not going to work, okay. So yeah, it doesn't work the same if you're putting them in just a regular Reborn as opposed to a real born or a doll that has um, the cups for butt cheeks, which the higher end Reborns most of the time do. Not all the time, but most of the time they do. And if they don't, then I do try to find the body that, that does, because those bodies are the more realistic feeling bodies. So if you have a, a full limbed kit that you can manage to find a uh, a body with a butt, um, I, I do that because it's just better. I put plugs and rings on every baby if possible. Okay, if I can't find them to fit, if they are some odd size or sometimes the um, these won't uh, be the right size for whatever reason. They'll just be a little bit off or the vinyl will be a, just a tad off or some of the kits don't don't take them at all. So you got to kind of do the math yourself and sometimes you just you can't get it right. Um, for whatever reason the flange in the neck um, it might be too big to even accommodate one of these and the head would just slip around and it wouldn't work. So sometimes you can't use them at all but if at all possible, I always, always use plugs and rings. I do not like to use felt to cover. I don't like to use uh, any other fabric or anything to cover uh, the inside of my limbs to cover the holes or the head. If I can, plugs and rings it is. I would prefer to stay away from nail polish also to put around the insides of the limbs to help them move and, and go back and forth. Um, lots of people do that and they're like, I'm not even going to bother with the ring. That's cool. I do it too. I prefer not to though, because I like the rings better. I do use nail polish if I have to, and it does work really well. It does make a little bit of a squeaky sound though. That kind of bothers me. So, uh, but it's only if I have to that I use the nail polish. But if I can, plugs and rings every time. When I am stuffing your doll head body um, I do not use these for the limbs of course um, but I use very durable pantyhose because these dolls a lot of times my hands are so dry oh my goodness this pantyhose is like sticking on me everywhere it's that's sad um, but a lot of my customers are children okay and if but that's another thing um, if I'm making a, a doll for a child uh, that's under the age of 13 or um, just depending, uh, talking to the parent about the child, I will ask, um, do you prefer rubber poly pellets as opposed to glass beads 
because I would prefer for children to have the, the poly pellets. I don't like to put glass beads in a, in a doll that's for a child. Um, I would prefer to stay away from that. Not because they're like, ooh, it's going to inhale it and they're going to get emphysema because I use very high quality glass beads that don't have dust. But um, just for the simple fact that tug of wars happen, dolls get dropped down sta stairs, things happen. Just things happen. And um, for whatever reason, if the dolls should come apart, that would be one heck of a mess to clean up. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete's. Not to mention if they were to get in somebody's eyes or an animal, just anything. So if I can stay away from using glass beads uh, for do for children, um, I do. So I always ask parents if it's for a child, do you want glass beads or do you would you like rubber poly pellets? Uh, you know your child better than I do, <laughs> so let me know. But definitely, um, it's just not even a question. If the child is under the age of eight years old, they're they're getting these. They're not going to get these. I'm just, I, for my own conscience, I can't do it. So um, that's another thing uh, with the rubber poly pellets. So those go in for the little ones. I always double these extra super durable pantyhose. So I don't just fill them with the glass beads um, and let them go, and, and that's the way they are. No. I, I put the glass beads in. And then, um, if it's big enough, it's not too small, I, I double fold it so that it's got an extra barrier, just for that extra caution, uh, to keep those glass beads nice and, and tight inside of the body, inside of the head even. Because I don't want them to come loose, I don't want them to seep out over time. Uh, not, like I said, these are good pantyhose, but over time, you know, they, they start to work their way out and stuff like that. So I do a double seal on all of my pantyhose inside of the baby and these are my glass beads. Now this is the main question and I really want to address this because reborners everywhere will argue and I myself will argue until the cows come home that if your glass beads have a film or a dust to them they are toxic okay they're toxic to inhale you should not have a doll that has powdery or near powder stuffing it, it, it's it's a no-no and I know reborn artists will go to war with me and that's okay I will go I will go to war because my husband used to work with this kind of equipment so it's not like I I mean I don't personally have the knowledge but he does. And I've been well informed of what's safe and what's not. And Bountiful Baby and other places. Now Bountiful Baby sells glass beads very comparable to these. They're nice and big. See? So they really have no liability to say go ahead and use whatever you want to use. Because, well, this is what they're using. This is what they're using. So it's not toxic. It's not going to hurt anybody, but a lot of reborners think that this dusty stuff, it's okay. It's not going to harm anybody. They've been doing it for 20 years and they're fine. Give them 10 years. They're not going to be able to breathe. So with that being said, I use a size four glass bead. Um, I, I think that's the perfect size. It's not too big. It's not too small. You can get them bigger. You can't get them smaller. The smaller you go, you're going to have some powder. No powder over here. I don't want any children getting emphysema in 10 to 30 years because of a doll that I gave them. So I won't do it. My glass beads are a size 4. I'm going to try to get them close to the camera so you can see them. They literally roll. They roll around in my hand. There's no dust at all on my glass beads. At all. There's nothing to inhale here. You can actually hear them hitting. These are the glass beads that I use. 
So this is what is inside of those nylon pockets inside of your babies, inside of their heads, inside of their bodies. This is what's in there. If you get a doll from me. There you go. So, I hope that everyone has had their questions answered, and I hope everybody knows what's safe and what's not. Now, I'm not like super reborn or lady. Um, I do reborn babies. Um, I do my research, though, and um, I don't want to be around toxic materials any more than I want to give them to my customers. So, believe me when I say, when I'm making these dolls, I'm making them with myself and your health in mind. So, this is how I do it. Um, I really I can't think of anything else that uh, would need to be addressed as far as making the babies. This is what goes inside, what you can't see. So, um, yeah, there you go. And I also paint with uh, Genesis heat set paints. So the dolls are baked um, after each layer. Um, well, unless I'm doing the primary color method, which is, you know, a whole other video. So there you go. That's what's in the doll. And um, if anybody has any questions, just comment. Give me a private message on Facebook, and I would be happy to answer any questions that anyone has. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.